Well, seeing the Russians trying to prepare their team for a shot in the Olympics in 2016 in Rio kind of reminds me of when curling got in the Olympics. Stay with me here on this one. A lot of people are pointing to the fact that golf being in the Olympics is going to be a savior for the sport. It's going to bring in all sorts of new people who are going to come in and play golf and give a lot of boost to the game all over the world, especially in parts of the world where golf perhaps isn't really one of those sports that comes top of mind. Well, back in 1998, curling got in the Olympics and the same thing was hoped for, the same thing was expected. Unfortunately, that didn't really happen. In fact, in most cases, what's happened is the governments have poured a lot of money into trying to get one or two teams, maybe 20 curlers total, to playing very, very good and making them capable of playing in the Olympics. The grassroots development didn't happen. So golf has to be very careful and perhaps take a page from curling. If this Olympic boom is really going to help the game, they've got to start working on it now. They've got to start making it courses accessible in a lot of different parts of the world. They've got to start getting people at the grassroots playing the game and then feed that up and that will drive their Olympic programs just like the Russians are going to have to do hopefully when they get into the games in 2016 or further down the road.